happy good morning from future hope scope and leo before you actually start this video i just wanted to tell you that i had so much fun filming this and i hope you find it equally entertaining to watch as you join me in this journey of iconic fashion public humiliation and exploring some of my favorite childhood places don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future videos welcome back to hope scope story time as you may have gathered from the title of this video i had to do some seeking out of vintage 80s clothing and i figured what better place to find such a thing than I have to say I have never found to be a very user-friendly shopping experience But if you are looking to create your very own website that is user-friendly check out today's sponsor Squarespace But since I don't have any actual vintage stores in my town It was really the best option the checkout process on eBay is just kind of a pain because I bought ten things and each thing was coming from a separate vendor So I had to check out multiple times and somehow eBay used its chaotic energy to send every single one of those packages to my old dress in Montana. I did not realize this error until I received 10 emails letting me know that all of my packages had been successfully delivered to my address in Montana, which I am not currently located at. Nor had I ever given eBay that address information. So there they were. Never to be seen again. So plan B, and the plan that I probably should have just started with, I pulled up my handy dandy Poshmark app and ordered 10 new vintage 80s items, which all arrived approximately two days later to my current address. But the next day, I walked out to my mailbox to find all the eBay packages had been rerouted to me. What am I gonna do with all of this? I don't know if it's because I recently binge watched the entire third season of Stranger Things in two days, or if it's because I have watched approximately 37 of Dan Bell's dead series mall episodes on YouTube, but I am suffering from nostalgia from an era I didn't exist in. Specifically, the super size retail era of the late 80s and early 90s when shopping malls were thriving. I love shopping malls, or at least the idea of what they used to be. The glass atriums, the neon lights, those cute little brick planters that sickos always used to put gum and cigarette butts in. Truth is, everything went south in 1994. <laughs> Just kidding, that's when online shopping was born. Wait, coincidence that the queen of online legging shopping and online shopping were born in the same year? Probably. No, but really, Pizza Hut was the first person to successfully place an order and deliver something online. Which means this is all pizza's fault. But also we have pizza to thank for buying leggings online, so. I guess we'll just start by opening all of these. I don't even remember most of what I bought. Let's start with this guy. Oh, it's a twofer. Wow. This is a genuine Puma sweatband. Never been opened. I feel like some of this stuff could be worth something someday if I didn't just go rip the tags off of it, but you know. And I think this is a golf skirt. It's from the brand Sea Palms. Next. Oh, I know what this is. So I texted my mom because I wanted like a genuine opinion from somebody who lived through the 80s of what activewear was popular. So she gave me lots of ideas, but one that surprised me was swatches were like the cool thing. So instead of everybody walking around with Fitbits and Apple watches, you had swatches. This is like a real collector's one because it's from the Coke swatch collaboration. Isn't it? Oh, it's like a little watermelon guy. It still works. Next. Yep, that's vintage. It's a little golf shirt. This is a cute little one. Oh yeah. Our first leotard. There's no tag on this one, but based on how it looks and smells, I'm gonna go with it's definitely genuine vintage. <laughs> oh, heck yes. This is actually super cute. This is the brand In Sport. Fun. Yes, look at it. From the brand Dan Skin. That is an 80s pattern if I ever saw one. <gasps> This was expensive, but I have zero regrets. An authentic vintage Adidas tracksuit. That's the back. And then the matching purple pants. This is everything. Oh yeah. Yes. Spirit Sport. Oh, there are definitely some mystery stains in the bum. It's fine. <laughs> okay, I kind of cheated. I couldn't find vintage leg warmers anywhere. Plus, maybe that would have been kind of gross even if I did. So I went on Amazon and got some little pink guys. Let's open this cute little eBay box. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Okay, new rule. Nobody's ever allowed to tape shut a box like this ever again. <gasps> yeah. Okay, these were freaking expensive too. These like vintage visors. Thought this would be really cute to go golfing in this week. Heck yeah. Look at it. 
<laughs> it's a Jazzercise t-shirt. I'm so excited about this one. You excited about it, Lee? Oh, cute paper. <gasps> Oh yeah. The sweaters back then were so fun. I thought this would be cute for golf too, even though it's 97 degrees. Wait, are you gonna come out of there? Oh yeah, this one's cute. Like this looks like Gymshark 2019, if you ask me. <laughs> Smells a little funny. Like it's been sweat in one or two times several decades ago, but you know. I'm gonna wear this every day of the rest of my life. It's a nice little comfy, cozy, oversized tee. Camera's about to die. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ignore all the freaky sound effects I'm making. I'm just really excited about this video. Okay, hey, this isn't like super related, but I found this vintage Victoria's Secret robe. In fact, we're just gonna go ahead and wear this the remainder of the unboxing. Brand, brand new? Holy guacamole. Wow, that had like legit never been opened. These are just some white dance skin leggings. Oh yeah, some more shorts. <laughs> Those are so fun. Oh, they're Nike. Oh, cute. This is a better golf skirt than the first one. Oh, that's adorable. This is the brand Lilies of Beverly Hills. Last package. I went back and forth with this posher over this stinking visor. They wanted so much money for it. Okay, that's actually kind of stunning though. MGM Grand Las Vegas, pristine condition. I never- All right, well, my camera died right before I got to the last package, so. <laughs> Coming to you live from Hope's iPhone. Oh, 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 we saved the best for last. This thing was freaking expensive too. Why were the tags so big back then? Someone found it at Ross for $20 and they sold it to me for like a lot more than that. I don't remember exactly. It is this vintage one piece bodysuit. I'm really excited about this. I just realized I should probably wash all this before I put it on my body. Okay, so rather than just like wear these outfits to the gym like I do a lot I thought it would be fun to think up some 80s inspired activities to do in my new gear So today we're going roller skating. I don't really know what people actually wore to go roller skating Like did they even dress up or did they just wear like regular clothes either way? We're dressing up. <laughs> I'm realizing as I'm putting together my outfits I didn't do a great job of like coordinating as I was buying them <laughs> for the most part I stayed in the same color palette I'm kind of thinking this outfit will be fun for roller skating though. Don't worry the mystery Mystery stains definitely didn't come out. It for sure looks like period blood. Okay, for this outfit, we're doing this little leotard. <laughs> That's awesome. And I'm wearing this cute little yellow buff bunny. Use code HOPESCOPE at checkout. Sports bra underneath because there's no way I'm wearing this by itself. <laughs> nice. Our shorts. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, they're a little big in the waist. I think if they were to have some sort of elastic in the waistband, they'd fit pretty darn perfect. Not bad though. Oh, someone cut them. Like I think they were originally supposed to be a legging. Okay, I'm ready. Man, I am gonna steal the show on that rink tonight. I'm gonna throw in a little scrunchy moment for good measure. I thought this would be a fun place to come because it's- Did you get a blue airhead there, Hope? Actually been around since 1940, but these days the whole place has a total 80-90s vibe to it. You'll see. Apparently Pocatello, Idaho was a happening place in the 80s. We close in 40 minutes. That's okay. That's okay? <laughs> yeah. It's going to be 7.50 on the card. I remember being in like second grade and me and my best friend would come in here to practice because we just wanted to look so cool on our rollerblades. And this is the big ring. Oh, this was like the place to have your birthday party back in the day. Thanks for coming with me. Um, I would say these were a little bit hot, getting a little sweaty in these. Day one outfit success. 
welcome back. Well, welcome me back. You haven't actually gone anywhere. I'm headed to the gym, and what I really wanted to do was an aerobics class. But that class isn't happening today, and I think that I'm specifically gonna save this outfit for that. Is today the day for this one? Here we go. Oh my gosh. I mean, of all the looks, I'm thinking this one kind of encapsulates 80s workout gear the best. <laughs> I feel like today's a good day to break out the swatch. Cute. Cute. <laughs> I feel like today would be a good day for the sweatband. <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. I did look for some vintage 80s or 90s sneakers. They were either like ridiculously expensive collectors or they were completely hammered. I think I'm just gonna go with the Nikes since those were pretty popular back then. <sighs> Here it is. Wish me luck. Whoa, dang. Where's my outfit? Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> This is why I don't have workout buddy friends. I wish I could play some like cool 80s jams for you guys on the way to the gym, but uh, demonetization. I guess you can tell this thing's kind of old because logo's not even legible after I stretched it out. <laughs> Tyler just asked me if I brought some shorts to wear. <laughs> he like doesn't believe me. I'm actually wearing this to the gym today. You're gonna get kicked out. But like, I don't know if you understand, this was a thing in the 80s, like the thong leotard was a thing. So why would it not be okay now? It's only a thing in music videos. No! I specifically asked my mom, what did you wear for active wear? And she said, thong leotards. Your mom in music videos. <laughs> no! <laughs> Last time I checked, she was not in any music videos. Susan, were you in any music videos? <laughs> I swear my swatch keeps vibrating. You know like the whole phantom limb? It's like phantom Apple Watch. Here's the interesting thing. I felt more comfortable in this outfit today than in yesterday's outfit, which is interesting because I feel like this one's a little more bizarre. But I mean like from a physical comfort perspective, I really enjoyed this outfit. I enjoyed it too. <laughs> I also really like leotards. I might be biased because I did ballet growing up, but I wouldn't be mad if they came back in style. I don't know about this part, but... <laughs> basement. Do I have to keep doing an intro every time that we switch days and outfits? So I can't do an aerobics class today. Don't feel like going to the gym again. So I decided I'd do another fun 80s inspired activity. I don't even know if this was the thing that they did in the 80s actually. Siri, when did power walking at the mall start to be a thing? I found this on the web. So we don't really know. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do in my tracksuit. I'm so excited to wear this today. It's only 87 degrees outside today. That's um tracksuit weather, right? And then I'm gonna wear this little guy under the tracksuit. The mall that we're going to today is called Westwood Mall. We actually have a newer mall that opened in 1981, which technically is probably more 80s, 90s-esque. But I wanna go to the original mall and I wanna see what it's like these days because it was always a very interesting building. There was at one time popping there were department stores, there was a restaurant section. It was the place to be in the 70s and 80s. So I recruited my little sister to try to help me dig up some photos and information about this mall because she's just really good at finding information from random people. And she got this interesting tidbit of information that I thought some of you might find interesting. Oh yeah, this is a nice outfit. <laughs> it's a little tighter fitting than I anticipated with it being like a men's tracksuit and all, but makes my bum look nice. <laughs> Has the like mesh interior. So cute, it feels like a little Barbie outfit. That's an old logo. Oh, and I have just the shoes. This is gonna be a great outfit. Not disappointed one bit with this purchase. Okay, let's go shopping. You know, I might get some weird looks in this one because I low key look like I'm dressed for February. This place is looking a little rough. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is a dead mall if I've ever seen one. It's just like a Dan Bell dead mall video. With the wild hope scope in the frame. The only thing I remember being in this end is I took dance classes here. Apparently our local thrift stores do have 80s clothes and I was just unaware. <laughs> so you're saying I could have got something like this for less for like than $150? <laughs> 
dress store. There's an arcade on this side of the wall that you can hear. What? This is crazy. Man, this is probably such a cool building back in the day. There used to be a furniture store here. I remember this place. I don't think this is like the original, original sign to the mall, no. but this structure is probably original. We found a very interesting grocery store. It almost just seems like stuff that's been sitting in warehouses for like years and years. And now it's just in this big discount store. One of the employees came up to us and said, everything in the store is buy one, get one. Half off, <laughs> my head's too big. So cute. Some good finds so far. Some of this stuff looks like it's been on the shelf since the 80s. <laughs> the second discount store. Back in the day when I was a kid, this used to be a party supply store, can you tell? Look at the decorations. They still have some costumes from the party supply store. It's pretty picked over though. <laughs> well, I had so much fun in that little old mall that I forgot to even get footage of me power walking, but no, I did do some walking. Oh, gotta go. Sorry. <laughs> We're gonna go eat now. It feels way hotter than 87 degrees in case you were wondering. <laughs> Final thoughts on this outfit, I loved it. It's a little hot for July. <laughs> it's phenomenal quality. I love the colors. I'm definitely gonna wear it. Man, I thought all the eBay stuff got here, but there's another one. I feel like these dang packages are gonna be showing up for weeks. <laughs> Hi, Leo, we have more packages. So this is a black crop top by the brand Stevie. Oh, I forgot I got these. I think these are actually men's leggings, but they're a pretty shiny blue in sport brand. Oh. My gosh, Lee, do you realize what this is? I totally forgot about this one. It's another tracksuit. <laughs> oh my gosh, it has shoulder pads. I love this print. This brand is East West, and it's definitely in pristine condition, especially for it being white. So I'm actually gonna count my blessings the other one came first, <laughs> because this one is fleece lined. I would've been dying. It's cute though, I'll definitely wear it this winter. Beautiful. Today we're going golfing. Not because golfing is like particularly an 80s activity, but because I came across all this cute golf stuff. Not very impressed with this blue skirt, so we're gonna go with the red. And then I'm definitely gonna wear this for a minute, but I think it's gonna get hot, so I'll wear this little guy too. Then as cute as this little gold visor is, I think I'm gonna have to go with this one. Yeah. <laughs> you love it? Yeah. And golf shoes. These are from the 80s, but. Oh my goodness, I think this is my favorite outfit from the whole thing so far. Wow, and this sweater, oh it's so cute. Okay, let's go golfing. Wait, are you coming golfing? Family scope. This is cute, but it's kind of getting in my way. A shot. Lee, what are you doing? It actually ended up being great weather for this sweater. Skirt's a little short when I bend over, but did a nice little photo shoot of Lee and I. <laughs> I just realized someday I might have a daughter and she might have a YouTube channel and she's gonna be reviewing my vintage clothes and she'll probably be like, booty, contour. You guys really did that on purpose and thought that that would be a cute idea. Anyway, today I'm not doing any like adventurous anything cause it's Sunday, but I am gonna go have lunch with my grandma and sister. So I thought today would be a good day to wear this cute little t-shirt. That's actually not that little, it's like a pretty oversized t-shirt. And then I don't know what I was thinking. I should have gotten some like vintage 80s jeans. I guess I didn't really think about it because I'm not a jeans channel. But I have these Willow and Root ones that I showed you a couple videos ago. They're like high-waisted and they kind of have a vintage feel to them. To untuck, French tuck. I'm gonna just untuck it. Man, this is a good t-shirt. I feel like it's hard to find good t-shirts like this these days. You know, that are like hefty. Oh, this is weird. It's like a double lined collar. Does that look better? I can't really tell. But to really push it overboard into the 90s, I'm gonna wear my filas. Love them or hate them, these things have really made a comeback. Okay, see you guys later. <whistles> bring in a fruit salad, bring in flowers. Um, I'm leaving. What? Give them back. Yeah, babe. babe, pretends like he doesn't miss me, but he actually does. All right, I take it back. Maybe hefty t-shirts aren't the best thing when it's a literal 100 degrees outside. Okay, well it was 100 and then right as I said that it switched. <laughs> We're on the last out 
outfit. Can you guys believe it? Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I really wanted to do an aerobics class, but my gym only offers aerobic classes a couple times a week. They're at 5.30 a.m., but I have a better idea because for one, I already publicly humiliated myself at my gym in an 80s outfit. Second, if I were to do an aerobics class at my gym, they'd be playing like 2019 top 40, and it just wouldn't be the same vibe as doing an actual 80s aerobics class. All right, let's put this on. We have this ridiculously expensive one piece. It feels like phenomenal quality though. Like this is the kind of thing that I actually would spend really good money on now. I don't know how to pronounce the brand, but that's what it is. Fake leg warmers. <laughs> and my dress are size T. Wait a second. This thing is like insanely comfortable. These are actually trying to make a comeback. I've seen so many brands come out with one pieces. And I can see why. Okay. This is a cute outfit. Like, I'm low-key kind of upset that nobody's gonna be witnessing this. This one definitely fits the best out of all of the outfits this week. Oh, I never really finished telling you what I'm doing. I'm gonna do a Richard Simmons workout video. I've never done one before, but I think it's gonna be fun. Oh, that's really gross, so look at that. Blast off 20 minute? That sounds great because an hour of working out right now sounds terrible. There's a mega blast off if we were feeling ambitious. All right, we're gonna do the 20 minute blast off. Oh, what am I doing? I got airplay on my TV. Okay, here we go. The neighbors can totally see me. I'm just gonna close these. I know it is. Five, this isn't fun anymore. way more of a workout than I anticipated. <laughs> I'm literally sweating. 10 out of 10 recommend Richard Simmons on YouTube for quick 20 minute cardio workout. <laughs> also this one piece is awesome. I'm not even joking. You're probably gonna see me at the gym in this. I loved every minute of that. <laughs> If I wasn't doing YouTube, I probably would be a group fitness instructor. I just think that would be so much fun. Or even to be like an extra in a group fitness workout video. If any of you do group fitness videos and need an extra, hit me up. Anyway, that was fun. Great way to end the 80s week, I think. And that's the end of the video. I think I tried on pretty much everything that I really wanted to get to, other than these shorts, which get a special little moment of their own in the outro. These are the vintage Nikes. I almost think they're boy shorts, but I don't even care. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed that video because I had a blast filming it. So if you liked it, make sure to please let me know in the comments below. We'll see you guys in the next video. Say bye, YouTube. <laughs> oh, um, one more thing. Hi. As I mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored today by Squarespace. I really enjoy the creative aspects of running a small business, but when it comes to like the logistics of running a business, especially like building websites and stuff, it stresses me out, man. But it doesn't have to be stressful with an all-in-one website building platform like Squarespace. Their easily customizable templates look great on every single device. It's super easy to sort, organize, and manage all of your products with their drag and drop sorting tool, tags, and categories. For 10% off of your first website or domain, go to www.squarespace.com forward slash hope and use my code hope. It's the perfect user-friendly way to create a business that stands out. Happy website building. Okay, bye for real this time. Hey, it's me again, in case you haven't gotten enough Hope Scope. If you join the channel membership, you can get some behind the scenes and deleted scenes from the filming of this video. It's a lot of fun, there's a lot of Leo. All you have to do is click that join button next to the subscribe button. See you on the member channel.